My name's Tom Welsh, I come from Pincher Creek, Alberta. We run a mixed cow-calf operation with commercial black Angus mama cows and cross them with Angus and shorthorn bulls. We start hearing a lot of good things about Rio Max, how your cows and calves get healthier, the cows produce more milk, you save feed, so we figured we'd give them a try. And uh, we saw great results. We fed competitors tubs and your cows would wolf pack them and they'd stay on them all day and your tubs wouldn't last long. And with Rio, you watch the cows, they come up, take a few licks, go back and lay down. They don't go back to eating and they get fat and shiny and you got more bales in your yard at the end of the year. We try to not feed until November, then we'll feed right through till March, April, May, some years, just depending on on rain and when we can get out to pasture. There can be a lot of snow up there, so not yeah. much grass through the winter. We see five, six, seven, eight pounds of feed savings, just depending on the year and what kind of feed they're on. Up in my country, hay goes for anywhere this year between 275 to, I've seen $330 a ton. Hey, you can see up to 75 cents hay savings, and I think our Rio Max is running about 40 cents a head a day. Every penny counts. It is weather dependent, but we'll treat eight, 10, 12 calves for scours. So they hammer the Rio Max hard, and this year I didn't treat a single scouring calf or nothing. Our conception rates have gone up probably five, six percent. That that could be ten to fifteen thousand dollars. Our weaning weights have gone up. We try to sell within the same week every year, and. They're 15, 20 pounds heavier. And with the calf market the way it is, that that's a good paycheck. The upfront cost is scary, but once you once you run those numbers, it makes sense. Rio Max does pay for itself. Give them a try, let's run some numbers, and you will be amazed.